Hello, welcome back to Lawrence Wednesdays where we're looking at some tips and tricks on a Wednesday. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to add the bin icon to the desktop. Now, if you go into your home folder, you will see the bins there. If you double click on the bin, it goes in, so I've got nothing in my bin. You can right click it, open, open in tab, open a new window, remove, rename, empty bin. I want to drag that to the desktop. You'll see I'm trying to drag it and nothing's happening. So how do I add that icon to the desktop? If I click on menu, then click on control center, click on look and feel, and then click on desktop settings. And under desktop, we've got desktop window and interface, we've got computer, home, network, rubbish bin, which is one we want, and mounted volumes. So if I tip the computer icon, disappears, to the home icon, again it disappears. I can then click on the X and it comes back, click on home and then it comes back, and then click on rubbish bin, it comes to the desktop, I can even turn off mounted volumes, you'll see my Scarlet USB interface dis disappears. Now you might want to do this if you've got to set another user up and you don't want to access the bin, the home folder, the network, the mounted volumes, that sort of stuff, so when they plug in the flash drive, nothing happens. But we're gonna leave the mounted volumes on, rubbish bin, home and in computer. At this point you can press on the X, press on the X again, and it's called bin. I want to change that to something a bit better. I can right click and I can go rename. So let's call it what it is I think on the Amiga, which is waste basket. It's called trash can on the Mac and on the bully boy build box it's called a recycle bin. We're gonna call it waste basket. Now if I open up the waste basket and put some files in there, so I go to Lotus Music, drag that one in, and drag that one to the desktop, and then, where's that gone? It's gone there, I can drag that into there, and I can then click on an icon, empty, uh, restore selected item, or I can empty the whole bin. So I click on restore selected item, you see that, it goes to the desktop, click on that one, and go restore selected item, then that goes back to the folder it was in. So I go back, I can drag that into there, drag that into there, I can do both of them, and I can go, restore six items, so that picture goes there, picture goes there, I can even delete them just by highlighting what I want to highlight, so say three icons in there, or three files, and press on empty bin, but I don't want to delete any of them, I want to keep these folders, uh, these files for when I go the editing. That was how to add the waste basket to the desktop, if you wish to undo it, I don't want it on the desktop, just repeat the process, control, and then look and fill, desktop, and then obviously tick the bin. Now when you tick the rubbish bin back on, it comes back up as waste basket, which is good. Anyway, that was how to add the waste basket and remove the waste basket from the desktop in Linux. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching Linux Wednesdays. Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye, bye, bye.